Hey everyone, Brian Tustin here in San Diego, California, doing it live here at Moniker General in Liberty Station. Uh, Moniker is actually a company that I work for full time. Uh, oversee a lot of the hospitality here, all the hospitality actually, and um, kind of a resident handyman. I love doing handyman type projects, and this is what I'm working on today. So we've got this big 36, 40 foot table in the back patio. We're redoing the patio as you can see. But this whole table is about four years old. And it's uh, been through the weather, pure sunshine for four years. Um, and so what happened is a lot of these boards got warped and um, it just happens. And so what, we, what we're doing instead of replacing all the boards and, and having the same issue happen again down the road, um, you see that right there? These things warp and they just pull out. Um, we're actually gonna be adding carriage bolts, kind of like this one right here, and like these right here. So a couple is, have already been added, and so what I'm doing is I'm gonna show you uh, what we're doing and how we're gonna convert kind of not all the hardware, not all the fasteners, because we're just doing it at the ends where at the board ends. So we'll do two here and two here just to replace the screws that were underneath. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. A um, couple things that you're going to need. Drills, impact gun, um, carriage screws, lock washers, carriage bolts, forgive me, uh, lock washers, your nuts, and um, two different drill, drill bits, two different sizes. Um, one, because we're going to be going from under the table first to mark these holes, and then we're going to be going from the top um, with the larger drill bit that'll fit uh, the carriage bolt size. We have quarter inch, um, quarter 20 carrot bolts, carriage bolts, uh, but I do love carrots. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna be doing that. You also need a step up bit. That will help um, because our base is all steel. And so um, all of these kind of wings that the boards sit on are steel, so um, instead of using a uh, metal drill bit, we're gonna use a step up bit because it'll be uh, a lot easier and less likely to break any bits. Um, and I say that because I've already broken a bit. Um, anyways, so uh, that's what we're gonna be doing. And I'm really excited about it because it's a long time project coming and um, excited to get this done, so. A couple things to know if your base of the table is metal, and if you're gonna be drilling or screwing into metal, um, make sure you wear long sleeves, as much protective gear as possible. I've got sunglasses, I don't have clear glasses, but you really want anything that is gonna protect your eyes and your skin, uh, because the metal shards that come off from the step up bit um, are very hot, and um, you might even see it in a video, you might be able to see some of the shards, it's pretty aggressive, so. Um, protective gear, please, 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 please. No one wants to lose their eyes um, and no one wants to be burned. Bacon grease burns are bad enough, um, let alone hot, steamy metal burns. And then we'll take the bigger quarter inch because that's the size of the carriage bolt. And then we'll go this way. Like I said, safety first. Step up bit. So you see how it's ridged? There's different thicknesses going through. Allows you to step up the hole and make it bigger as you drill it deeper. While I'm down here, I typically would have a carriage bolt with me to test the hole size, but I was ill prepared. Alrighty, I'm back. Grabbed the carriage bolt. Oops, not thick enough, so we got it. Make sure your setting's on one. You want it to be on the slower setting. All right, we're good. 
довольно.